Brown leaf edges or brown leaf tips are annoying problems that turn our erica palm into a sick, sad, and ugly looking plant. There are two obvious reasons in most cases. They cause the browning of the leaf tips or leaf margins. So in this video, I'm going to broadly explain these two reasons. As well as going to provide the solution. So watch till the end for proper information. And with this, hello plant lovers. I'm Nishat Suba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. Erica palm originates from the humid tropics of Madagascar. Require a rich, slightly acidic soil, has a thick base and fibrous roots. This plant likes to be dried out around 60% of the soil before watering. If you water more than the plant's requirement, like watering very often and not letting the soil dry out, it can cause root rot due to overwatering. Now, what will be the signs of overwatering? The first sign of overwatering is the browning of the leaf tips. You will notice brown tips not only in the older leaves, also the newer leaves will have water soaked brown tips. In the overwatering situation, the plant uptakes an excessive amount of water and cannot evaporate that excess water through the leaves. As a result, the extra water accumulates at the end of each leaf or leaf tips, bursts the leaf cell and ultimately causes brown tips on the leaves. If not treated in time, it will rot the entire root system within 3-4 to four days and the plant will start to wilt whereas the soil looks moist. Now, what will be the solution? The solution to this problem is, as soon as you notice the plant has been overwatered, you need to stop watering immediately. And then, move the plant to a bright, well-ventilated place in order to dry out the soil. In general, we keep this plant in low light or shaded place, where the soil does not dry out fast. As soon as around 80% of the soil dries out, add the amount of water that will turn the soil slightly moist, not soggy or saturated as it was before. Water with diluted fungicide solution. Add half teaspoon of fungicide powder in 2 liters of water. Here I have used copper based fungicide. And pour this water whenever you are watering and continue to water with this diluted fungicide solution for a month. It will recover the plant root system. In severe cases, you need to take extra care. If 80% of the plant roots has damaged due to overwatering, then first you need to gently pull out the plant from the soil, then remove the damaged rotted roots and need to wash the rest of the roots with hydrogen peroxide or diluted fungicide solution. And after all of this, we have to repot the plant using fresh soil. Then water a little and turn the soil slightly moist. Finally, keep the plant in a shaded place until the plant is recovering. I will provide a video on how you can rescue an overwatered plant. Feel free to subscribe for updates. Reason number two. The opposite of the overwatering is the underwatering. The leaves of this plant have a waterfall like structure, and sometimes we cannot figure out whether the plant needs water or not, or sometimes totally forget to water. Underwatered conditions dry out the roots of the plant, and as soon as you notice and water thoroughly, that sudden introduction to lots of water can rot the dry roots, create an overwatered soggy situation, and derive root rot. In the underwatering situation, the older or semi-older leaf tips or leaf margins show browning. Also the lower leaves turn yellow and fall off. The plant looks wilted and the oldest leaves start to turn brown and dry out. You need to work on watering or improve your watering schedule. Erica palm prefer to dry out between watering. Water thoroughly when 50-60% to 60 soil feels dry. This plant can handle slightly underwatered conditions, but if you leave it like this, 
the plant will show browning as well as shrinking of the base and stems. Summer is their growing period and this time of the year, they prefer an even supply of moisture, but avoid watering it very often. And it's better to take around 2 to 3 inches of the surface soil moisture before watering, because sometimes the surface soil looks dry, whereas the subsoil can be moist. Winter is the dormancy period for this plant, and at that point, they utilize less water, so we need to reduce watering in winter. I believe that a plant's 70% growth depends on the soil we are providing. I have a separate video on the potting mix for Erica Palm. Using that potting soil, the growth of my plant has been improved. The soil is very well draining and prevents overwatering. Now, there are some other factors such as humidity, temperature, pest infestation and dormancy also can be responsible for brown leaf tips or dry leaves. But those are adjustable and can be cured quickly. But understanding the water requirement is a factor that keeps the plant roots hydrated and healthy and a strong root system maintains the overall growth of the plant. I feel it is quite difficult and time-consuming process to recover a plant has root rot and 90% of the root damage caused by unmanaged watering practice. So that's all. If you are interested in plants and gardening, then feel free to subscribe. Also, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.